Yo, what's good, y'all? So, Trail, and today I got another video for y'all. So, today I wasn't really planning on doing this video, but I saw Taylor Swift text video on the whole WWDC 18 recap, and I wasn't really feeling it. His video seemed more like just jabs at Android and Windows rather than just actually showing what's in the updates. So, I felt like I had to do this. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's up with iOS 12 on the iPhone 6s. Now first off, just here on the software update page, you can see here that they put an automatic updates button here so you don't have to like worry about that I guess. I'm gonna keep that off but well they put that there. Now in this update, nothing really changed in here which is pretty sad so that's basically just the theme of this video. It's just like pretty meh and just like basically nothing's changed so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's actually changed but not much is here so it's gonna be pretty short. Okay, first off, they update the stocks app. Now, I don't know who actually uses the stocks app, but well, they updated it, so I guess we can check it out. So you have an all new design, market news, and iPhone, iPad, and Mac, so you can use iCloud to view the stocks and all that, so let's just hit continue. Now, I went in the stocks app maybe like one or two times, so I really don't remember what it looked like last time, but well, it looks a little bit different, so you know, it's pretty cool. Getting out of there, they have some more updated apps, so if we go into here, they update voice memos. So I guess they just made it look more clean, I guess. So like nothing really changed here. Just like they put some new design on here. So I guess that's really it. And lastly for the apps, they added one app called Measure here. So again, I don't really see anybody using this, but well, they might be like a group of specific people who actually use it. So you could just like pick up things. This like runs off of AR, but you can like pick up things and go ahead and measure it. So I pick up this pool ball. Not really detecting it. You can go ahead and just add a point here to see how long this is. Maybe it's something like that. That's 11 inches. But it's supposed to detect like what's in front of you. And it's really not. So, I mean, it's like, eh, whatever. Pretty hit or miss in my experience. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the measure app. Now, one thing that people have been asking for for a while now is group notifications. So, that's there. Now, I'm pretty sure all of us know where this actually came from. But... It still kind of sucks on here. Like, if I go into this app or something like that, Panda Pop, you can see here that, yeah, it still kind of sucks because, well, you have multiple notifications of the same thing. And on Android, it just won't do that. So, for example, if I'm talking to multiple people and, like, one person sent me, like, multiple messages, then it's going to just, like, show in, like, one card here. But on iOS, it's not going to do that. It's going to just show like that. So, yeah, notifications are still kind of a nightmare. And, yes, iOS 12 is still buggy. What is this little dot right here? If I tap that, um, yeah, it's that was a bug right there. Okay. And the last feature on iOS 12 that kind of matters is that they had this new thing called screen time. And yeah, you heard about that on the Android P, so we all know where that came from. But we had this whole thing here, so it like it kind of like just helps you stay off your phone more and just like enjoy life. But I don't see myself using this, and this is like the most interesting thing I've seen this update so far. So that's kind of sad. They also had a new thing called Memoji for the iPhone X, but couldn't imagine where that's from. All of these features you saw here should have just been like iOS 11.5 or something like that, not iOS 12 because it's not like worthy for like a whole new update. And they said that this was supposed to squash bugs and stuff like that, but from what I saw here, like that little dot right there, uh, that didn't work out very well. Yeah, I'm very aware this is a beta, but that's not a good first impression. But guys, let me know what y'all think in the comments. And are you going to go ahead and install this or not? Let me know. That was pretty much it. I will see y'all in the next one. And peace out.